This is by Avuge Beatrice's home that she no longer shares with the ex-husband with whom they separated in Bachuba sector in Nyamashoche district. They got married in 1992 and together they have four children. For the 26 years that they spent together, they were mostly characterized by criticisms of one another and conflicts within the family. He used to bring other women home and he would take all the money we would have worked for together and take it to the other women. I used to suspect that she was cheating on me. I didn't have evidence though. She also disrespected me and I never took any of the money that she's talking about. By 2018, they decided that they had had enough of each other and decided to part ways and divorce before the authorities. Their youngest, who is 17 years old, studies from a school nearby. She is gutted as she speaks to our reporter, narrating how it's not been easy for her since the father left their home. I don't feel happy because I don't live with both my parents. I feel sad when I look at other children who live happily with both of their parents. Gatera got remarried and has one child with a new wife, while Beatrice didn't remarry. They stay in the same neighborhood and often bump into each other. Asked if there's a possibility to get back together, this is what they both say. Before God, he's still my husband because we made vows till death do us part or until the second coming of Jesus. So Jesus hasn't come back yet and none of us has died. The government can't allow me to have both women legally. For me to do that, perhaps the authorities can help me and give me a way out. Their child, however, says she does not wish for her parents to reconcile because of all the bad experiences she has gone through. Because my dad went and got another wife and my mom stayed alone, I would prefer he doesn't come back. When I finish school, I will work hard and help out my mother. I hope my father can learn and live in harmony with the new wife. The conflicts in this family also have impacts on the future of their children. Their daughter now says she is afraid to start her own family. Before I get married, I will be patient and take my time to study my partner, know their behavior and see if I can tolerate them. The Ministry of Gender and Family Promotion says they have programs aimed at preparing those that decide to start families together to avoid such conflicts. We have set up programs for those that wish to start their families, for them to take lessons and see what they are getting into so that both partners can study each other and see what they can handle and what they cannot handle before making this commitment. A report from the Supreme Court indicates that in 2018, nationwide divorce cases filed to court increased by 1,900%, adding that in 2016, there were 21 cases, 69 in 2017, and 1,311 in 2018. Reporting for RTV News, Gloria Mutisi.